How's it going boys? Gianni Superb man here and once again it is time to take a look at another hockey legends career ratings for every EA Sports hockey game that they appeared in and today we got the first European drafted first overall. We got the eight time all-star. We got the gold medalist, the highest point total for a Swedish born player ever in the NHL. One of the greatest captains of the blue and white, Matt Sundin. So let's start this off with NHL PA Hockey 93. The 66th overall, Matt Sundin makes his EA Sports debut. He's a member of the Quebec City Nordiques up against the Hartford Whalers. Nice touch there, Domsky. And he buries it with a backhand. But 66 overall, I mean, that's ridiculous. He wasn't a rookie in this game. He had already played. This is even worse. NHL 94, he's only 78 overall. The guy just came off a 114-point season. He doesn't even crack 80 overall. My God. And look at that. Sundin from Joe Sackick. Could you imagine if the Nordiques had that team? Forsberg, uh, Sundin, uh, Sackick, Owen Nolan, Eric Lindros, if he decided to stay there. My goodness. So we got the next game, NHL 95. And this one was an interesting one. He actually didn't want to play with Quebec anymore. So he decided to start the year in Sweden until the Toronto Maple Leafs traded Wendell Clark for him. And then he finished the year with the Leafs. But this is NHL 96. He's 84 overall, uh, 85 overall. This was his first full year as a member of a uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs, and he scored 83 points, not too shabby, up to 92 overall for NHL 97, and this was the uh, the dark ages with Matt Sundin. When we first traded for him, we made the first round the first two years, then followed up by missing the playoffs two years in a row, even though Matt Sundin was a bright spot for us. You can see it, NHL 98, you missed the playoffs, minus three, down to 89 overall. Look at this game, the great Domsky with that four check, Matt Sundin can't be pushed off the puck from Felix Potvin got a freaking assist. Domsky with the goaltender assist right there. And then we jump to NHL 99. We go from missing the playoffs two years in a row to making it all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals only to lose the Buffalo Sabres. Damn Dominic Hasek. I'm glad that Brett Hull's skate was in the crease. You guys didn't deserve to win it. The Leafs did. And look at this goal by Domsky. Cuts to the outside. Slap shot short side. Rips it, baby. Nice shot. Now we get to the good time for the Toronto Maple Leafs. NHL 2000. He's 93 overall. This was when the damn New Jersey Devils decided to screw us. Was that, was that Modine? Oh, shit. We got a fight. Matt Sundin versus Billy Guerin. I don't know, Sundin. That's Billy Guerin, my man. Oh, Domsky, what are you doing? This is supposed to be a video for... Oh, well, I guess he is a super sweet. Billy Guerin can't be touched. NHL 2001. Once again, we lose to the Devils in round number two. Back-to-back -back years. Steve Thomas to Shane Corson. Back to Corson. Back Sundin off the post. He gets his own rebound. And he puts it by the Dominator. Yeah, this is the time where I really remember being a Leafs fan, boys. 2000 up to around 2004. We went on a tear. Two trips to the Eastern Conference Finals. That was the time to win the Stanley Cup with this man as our captain. Just couldn't get it done. NHL 2002. This was the, the rough playoff run. Uh, Sundin went down with an injury. Our first line was Al McCauley, uh, uh, Gary Roberts, and some other goofball Hulk or something. Well, Hulk? Volk? Something like that. And we got all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals. Matt Sundin came back for game six, tied it, went to overtime, and then dreams crushed. This took us up to NHL 2003, and this was the beginning of the downfall for the Matt Sundin era. We looked to have another repeat run back to the Eastern Conference Finals. We traded for Owen Nolan up against the Philadelphia Flyers in round number one. We had a 3-2 series lead. Mark Recchi ties it in the third overtime in game six, and then we got blown out in game seven. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, look at this, though. Oh, yeah. We're going back to NHL 2003 when you got a breakaway and you scored. <laughs> look, look at this. Oh, everyone's paying attention. Matt Sundin behind the back one hand. Buries it, baby. Oh, and they love it. Oh, 2003. Up to NHL 2004, we got by the Ottawa Senators. Of course, once again, Battle of Ontario belongs to Toronto. And then the Philadelphia Flyers with Jeremy freaking Roenick. In game six, I think it was this time. Comes down on a two-on-one, short side, roofs it, and then dances itself off in the Air Canada Center. Absolutely embarrassing. The Leafs wouldn't make the playoffs again until 2013. NHL 2005 was the lockout year, and it was a bad year for the Leafs. 
Leafs were full of veterans, so a year off wasn't doing us any favors. Guys like Matt Sundin, Alexander McGillney, Gary Roberts, Owen Nolan, Brian freaking Leach, there he is. These guys weren't getting any younger, and the lockout year really did signal the end of the Matt Sundin era in Toronto. He still played, though, NHL 2006. He was 93 overall, and even though the Leafs wouldn't make the playoffs until 2013, his regular season numbers were still fantastic. And what a freaking goal that was, my God. Forehand spin spinorama. I think that, like, look where he, let's see the blade of his stick. Yeah, he had it on the, how did he roof that? How the hell do you roof that? Look at the size of the goaltender compared to Matt Sundin. He's puny. NHL 2007, Matt Sundin, 94 overall. And this was the 500th goal of Matt's NHL career. I remember that goal, man. It was a hat trick goal to win it in overtime, shorthanded for his 500th goal of his NHL career. Just think about all that. I mean, he didn't win a Stanley Cup with Toronto, but that was his greatest Toronto moment. I'll always remember that. And that would take us to his last full season as a member of the Toronto Maple Leafs. NHL 2008. His overall was still up there because his point totals were still up there. Even though the Toronto Maple Leafs were a crap team, Matt Sundin was still getting 70 points. But that was an issue because we thought to ourselves, hey, if we flip this guy, we could get a killing back. He didn't want to go anywhere until we basically forced him out of town. NHL 2009, he took the first half of the year off, looked at a team that he thought had a great chance to win a Stanley Cup, and decided to sign with the Vancouver Canucks. And even though the Canucks lost in the playoffs, he still had one more great Toronto moment in him. Came back to the Air Canada Centre with the game on the line in the shootout. He buried the final shot. And the fans, even though they saw the Canucks win, they still cheered for their former captain, giving them one more win in the Air Canada Centre. Oh, that was freaking brilliant. So that would lead us to NHL 2010. He did not play in the NHL. That was a nice pass to the Sedin Twins right there. Sedins and Sundin. Um, he was still in the game, just like Datsuk is still in the game. Pronger is still in the game. But that would be his last year, the uh, 2009 NHL. NHL season. So boys, there it is. The super Swede, Matt Sundin, arguably the greatest Swedish forward to ever play hockey. In my opinion, he'll always be the greatest Swede. I'm a Toronto Maple Leaf fan, and in my opinion, Matt Sundin is the greatest Toronto Maple Leaf captain of all time. Get the hell out of here, Dion. Be sure to check out our website, 2bcsports.com, where the hockey talk continues. Find myself and others in the live interactive chat or dive into the active forums to talk about sports and gaming. You can also find us on Twitch where the live streams come to life. Rock